Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Mining Weekly editor Martin Klima joins me today to unpack the latest news in the mining industry. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, Ashley. Can you tell us about the 18 billion rand platinum group metals project in Limpopo that's got the feasibility green light? You know, this has been in the offing for a long time. It's Waterberg. It's a North American promoted. There are a lot of different shareholders. And they did a, a feasibility on it, which was good. The same team has done a renewed feasibility, definitive feasibility study, and it is sensational. So, you know, everything has improved. So the chances of this going ahead now seem much better. In fact, the, the deemed go-ahead is, is uh, 2025. But of course, it's coming at a time when the conditions in the platinum group metals industry are constrained. Mm -hmm. uh, supply, though, is said to be in deficit. So you wonder whether this is not important that a new project goes ahead, a Greenfields project goes ahead when you look to the future. Mm -hmm. Because so many things could happen to promote platinum group metals. You know, not only are we seeing that it will be absolutely key for decarbonization, it will be key for the hydrogen economy, which, and you see projects in Europe going ahead, final projects, decisions, <coughs> but also reported out of Germany this week is that the decarbonization potential goes way beyond hydrogen. So <coughs> we're looking at a situation that it could cover uh, a lot of the decarbonization space because perhaps platinum group metals could also go to battery electric vehicles. There's also research being done on that. So it may just mean that across the spectrum, platinum group metals will be the decarbonization metals. We hope so. And Horaeus believe so? Horaeus believe so. So they put out uh, <coughs> a, a, a meeting with us and they also reported to the New York Platinum Week where they said, you know, okay, we know the hydrogen economy is absolutely assisted, the green hydrogen economy, by electrolyzing, which is platinum group metals assisted, and also through fuel cells, which turn that green electricity into mobility, <coughs> which is also very important because the platinum group metals in that. But they're saying, look at the chemistry spectrum. There is so much potential, they believe, that needs to be researched now that could take you know, platinum into the broadest of broad decarbonization spectrums. Lastly, tell us about South Africa's uh, high-value surface gold recovery highlighted by DRD Gold. You know, we see and we've seen for decades now how you go out into the East Rand and you go to the West Rand and you see how the tailings dumps that were part of gold mining activity, their mine dumps are starting to come down. And the recovery of gold from that is very economic. And not only that, but once you remove those dumps, you are releasing land for new use. At the same time, when they do this now, you know, they're using solar power, they are using less and less water. So they're doing everything correct environmentally. But we are really pioneers in South Africa of that. So, you know, going into uh, North America to a big event, DRD Gold, let the world know about what they're able to do because they are looking to trying to opera operationalize this internationally if they can. They're also looking beyond just gold because there are platinum group metal dumps, there are other dumps with uh, battery metals in them, they're looking at a copper situation. So this could be a very, very important activity in which South Africa has got proven technology. They've got experience. They are advancing all the time with the new technology. They're getting more and more of the precious metals out. And of course, you can't get all of them out. So they also know how to replace the, re the residue in the best situation. So I'm hoping that you know publicity uh, this week given to the world about how South Africa can do this will mean that DRD Gold, which is a leader in this, you know, is brought into a lot of international activity, which will be fantastic for, for the company and South Africa. Thanks for speaking with us, Martin. It's a great pleasure, Sashni.
That's it for today. Join us again next week for more news analysis on the local and global mining industries. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Mining Weekly daily email newsletter.